today I'm sitting with Dr. Sharmila Mande. Uh, just a few questions here. Firstly, what is your impression of Amrita University, along with uh, more specifically Amrita School of Biotechnology and BioCrest 2015? Um, I have uh, very high regards about the bio, you know, bio, uh, your Amruta University. There are great work which is going on in uh, in the biotechnology department, and I would like to congratulate the biotechnology department uh, in Amruta University, who, who has completed ten years uh, and has so many achievements in that ten years. And it's a really great place, and I'm always. I mean, this is my second visit. I came last year for the BioQuest, and this is my second one. And the um, the BioQuest is really a great, uh, um, uh, you know, uh, the conference which uh, you have organized. And um, in the afternoon, what we had, um, I, I learned a lot, and I'm sure that the students of biotechnology also learned a lot uh, uh, during the uh, sessions uh, this afternoon. Great job! Congratulations again. Uh, what is your view on the future of biotechnology? Along with that, the, uh, the impact of biotechnology both in India as well as globally. Uh, biotechnology holds a huge, you know, promises, and it has. It's going to be a really future is going to be going to impact be uh, impacted by um, the, the advances which are being taking place in biotechnology, particularly in the healthcare sector, uh, as well as in the, uh, in, in the environmental sciences. Um, and India is not lagging behind the kind of research which is going on in India, and uh, particularly uh, uh, some of the research which is going on in Amrita University. I'm sure that they're going to contribute uh, uh, a lot. Um, and Particularly, I see that you know, uh, in future, India will be looked at as one of the biotech uh, you know, pioneers uh, in the in the biotech area. Uh, so I see a lot of promises for Indian uh, researchers and scientists working in the biotechnology field. What advice would you give biotechnology students today? The advice which I would give to the biotechnology students is that uh, there are a lot of promises, as I mentioned earlier. And you can do great things. You have to just think um, of a problem which can be solved by using biotechnology approaches. And I'm sure that the students, uh, the biotechnology students uh, in India uh, and uh, particularly in Amrita University uh, have lots of ideas. And I'm sure that th they will be able to contribute a lot to the biotechnology field uh, in the future. And it's just that you have to have a goal. and. If you are determined to do something in the area, you can do it. You or you should have that, you know, willingness to do something in this particular area. So I, I think I'm, I'm sure that you people will do a great job uh, in uh, this field. I'm not sure if you've had a chance yet to meet uh, the chancellor of the university, Amma. Um, if you have, or based off of anything that you've heard about her, what is your view on her or your thoughts on her? I was. Fortunate uh, last year to have a darshan of Amma, a very special darshan with all the other invitees uh, last year when I came for BioQuest. I was really fortunate and I had a really good uh, time. I know, uh, you know, I, I felt really, um, uh, you know, uh, excited about meeting her. And I had a darshan. I mean, I I I went and uh, heard the uh, bhajans yesterday evening. It was really, you know, so soothing, and you know, I, I was really, I mean, I had really enjoyed last evening uh, listening to Amma's Amma and all the disciples, uh, the bhajans, and uh, I'm looking forward to make a visit today also and get Amma's blessing uh, for whatever work I'm doing, and then uh, for the mankind. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Thank you. Mm -hmm.